Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be diving into the mysterious world of SCP-1211, also known as the King in the Castle. This Euclid-class object has some pretty interesting properties, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. A 50-meter perimeter must always be maintained around SCP-1211. Any civilians who attempt to approach this perimeter are to be redirected and given false reports of danger at the site. No men over the age of 35 are permitted to enter SCP-1211. Upon entering SCP-1211, any male over the age of 35 will immediately believe that he is the rightful heir to a throne and the owner of the castle, refusing to leave even under threat of force. This effect is particularly strong in individuals of Irish descent, who may even attempt to subjugate those around them, often leading to fatalities among Foundation staff. Over time, affected individuals begin to live in a fantasy world where they believe they are a king during a time of war. They will pace the hallways of SCP-1211, speaking in the Irish language, even if they had no prior knowledge of the language. Translations of their speech reveal threats of violence and scenarios where they defend their right to be king. As time passes, the affected individuals age rapidly. After three weeks, a 35-year-old man will appear to be around 80 years old. This aging process varies for each individual, with some experiencing rapid physical deterioration after one month. Despite this, affected individuals do not require food, water, or sleep, and none have died of old age while under the influence of SCP-1211. Once an individual has deteriorated to the point where they can no longer move, they will make their way to the basement of SCP-1211 and collapse, at which point the walls will begin to encase them. They will continue to murmur the Irish word for, happy, until they cease vocalizing altogether. Dr. Davidson's research team has observed a 10% growth in the surface area of the second floor of SCP-1211. They will be taking weekly measurements and reporting any further changes as testing continues.